Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best headset for gaming. Starting at number 5. Epos H6 Pro. Epos is gradually shifting away from its Sennheiser past and beginning to collect its own lineup of great gaming headsets. The H6 Pro is a big part of that. As the company's first go at a true flagship product without Sennheiser's stamp all over it. The H6 Pro offers a really high-grade headset experience. There are fancy new 42 mm. drivers to keep them sounding great, which have been tuned to offer a more balanced and easy on the bass profile than your usual gaming headset. It also offers a great sounding microphone that delivers the benefits of both flip to mute and removable designs. I've had experience with both open back and closed back designs and, essentially, if you desire noise isolation, blocking outside noise from reaching your ear holes, you'll want the closed back H6 Pro headset. If that's not important then it's the open back H6 Pro headset that will be the better choice for a superior gaming sound stage. Coming at number 4. Bear Dynamic MMX100. This isn't the first gaming headset from Bear Dynamic, but the MMX100 is absolutely its most rounded offering so far. Offering excellent audio and a good microphone in a comfortable and well-designed headset makes for an easy entry into our best headset list, especially when you can pick these impressively made cans up for under $100. Despite using a closed back design we found the MMX 100s produce a surprisingly wide sound stage, without any of the muddiness or overeager bass that often plagues gaming headsets. The bass is so finely tuned without any distortion or boominess that you typically get on most gaming headsets. On my unit, it had quite a bit of play where it could rock back or forth without changing the volume while causing static in the right ear cup when adjusting volume and oftentimes, completely cutting out the audio on the right side. This is mostly around the max volume position. Minute adjustments of volume would fix the audio, but it's most disturbing for such a well-built headset, that I'm honestly inclined to believe it was just my particular sample and not systemic. At number 3. Razer Kraken X. As a cheap alternative to the tricked-out Razer Kraken, opens a new tab. The Kraken X is a budget-friendly option that excels on PC for one simple reason, Virtual 7. One surround sound. Available via an app, this elevates the headset's already good audio thanks to superior depth, clarity, and definition. It also makes going back to the X's standard audio mode difficult. There are niggles to dampen the party, of course, a non-detachable mic being chief among them. But you can't complain when you're getting good 7. One sound for such a low cost. When you've only got $50 to spend on a gaming headset, we don't think you'll do much better than these Razer cans. Number 2 of my list. HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. The original HyperX Cloud is one of my favorite ever gaming headsets. Building on the basic Q-pad design and introducing its own flair and flat EQ over time, they mixed affordability and audio to a level that few could match. It wasn't really until HyperX released its own Cloud Alpha headset that a true successor was created. Though Razer has now seen the wisdom in its ways and launched a direct assault with its own Black Shark V2 range, it may seem odd that HyperX has now released the Cloud 2 as a wireless headset, long after the Cloud Alpha took the wired crown. But bearing the fruits of the HyperX Cloud's long legacy of excellence, the Cloud 2's present excellent sound and build quality with the essential features done well and no feature flab inflating the price. When the Black Shark V2 Pro was retailing for $180 that made the Cloud 2 wireless a hands-down winner, but we've seen those cans going as low as $130, too. And in a straight fight we prefer the sound of the Razer drivers. And number 1. Razer Black Shark V2. Dethroning the HyperX Cloud Alpha opens a new tab, from the top spot was no easy feat. 
Razer's Black Shark V2 gaming headset manages to do just that by offering killer audio quality, great price, and easy to use software. From the moment it first started talking about the Black Shark V2, it was clear this was main focus of the headset. And the design of the drivers themselves are effectively doing what the impressive cloud alphas do. The 50. Mmm. Triforce titanium drivers are designed with discrete ports to separate bass, mid, tremble tones from interfering with each other. The result is a richer sound than a standard set, and keeps it on par with HyperX's 50. Mmm. Dual chamber neodymium driver headset. There's only one reason I no longer use them as my daily drivers, and that's the arrival of the wireless version. The rather more expensive Black Shark V2 Pro opens a new tab. They use the same drivers, but use a lag-free wireless connection with a great battery. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.